cross multiplication 2 into 3 6 6 minus into minus 1 will give you plus 1 again minus which will give you minus 1 so 6 minus 1 will give you 5 cross multiplication similarly the next one 3 into 3 9 and 9 minus 0 9 now the next one 3 into 2 6 6 minus 1 5 which will give you 19 so s2 will be 19 we have got s1 as 8 and s2 as 19 what will be the s3 s3 is determinant of a what is determinant of a 3 into 6 minus 1 which will give you 5 minus minus into minus will give you plus alternative signs always to find the determinant alternative signs plus minus plus minus goes on now the next one is 1 into minus 3 minus 0 and again plus 0 into minus 1 0 Anyway, the last term is 0 into 1 which is going to give you 0. So, omit it. Now, 3 times 5 will give you 15. 15 minus 3 which will give you 12. Therefore, we have got the characteristic equation. Therefore, the characteristic equation is characteristic equation is just substitute in the formula what is that formula lambda cube minus s1 lambda square that is minus 8 lambda square and what is the next value plus s2 plus 12 lambda minus s3 which will give you the characteristic equation minus 12 equal to 0 so, this is the characteristic equation to find the eigenvalues. Since it is a 3 by 3 matrix, here we will be getting 3 roots. The previous question, it is a 2 by 2 matrix, so we have got 2 roots. Now, how will you find the roots? Now, what is the characteristic equation? Lambda cube minus 8 lambda square plus 19 lambda minus 12 equal to 0. If the highest degree is 2, then you will factorize it and get the roots. But look at this, the highest degree is 3 here. So, how will you find out the roots? Only by synthetic division. How will you find out by synthetic division? First, take the coefficients alone of the characteristic equation. What is the coefficients here? What is the coefficients? 1, minus 8, 19, minus 12. While finding out the synthetic division, you need to randomly choose the values that is minus 1, 1, 2, minus 2. Each root you will substitute it here. Till you get the remainder as 0, you will keep on substituting the values. So, first I am going to take 1. 1. Always for the first element we need to substitute as 0. 1 minus 0 will give you 1. 1 into 1, 1. Minus 7. Minus 8 plus 1 will give you minus 7. Minus 7 into 1, minus 7. And this will give you 12. 12 into 1 will give you 12, 0. Now this is the synthetic division you can check here you are getting the remainder as 0 so stop the process suppose if you are getting the remainder some value suppose if you are getting 5 or 4 or something then you have to move on to the next root minus 1 so this is how you need to find the synthetic division whereas here we have got in the first step itself minus 12 plus 12 which will give you 0 therefore we will write lambda is equals to 1 is the one of the root is the root now what is the reduced equation lambda square 
from this you need to write the reduced equation you will consider these are the coefficients of the characteristic equation so lambda square minus 7 lambda plus 12 equal to 0 as I told you for the previous problem how to factorize it you will take the last element that is the constant 12 you need to check what are the ways of multiplying what are the possible ways of multiplying 4 into 3 6 into 2 you need to check among this which one we are supposed to take it when you add or subtract it you should get the middle term first one it's not possible so move on to the next one minus 4 and minus 3 which will give you the roots so this can be written as lambda minus 4 into lambda minus 3 which is equals to 0 therefore lambda is equals to 4 comma 3 now look at this we have got the three roots lambda is equals to 1 lambda is equals to 3 and 4 therefore we say that lambda is equals to 1 4 and 3 are the eigenvalues that's it So this is how we need to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors.